Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only fire model type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. So, last time we took care of some business in Cerulean City. We obtained another badge and the SS ticket in the process. Funnily enough, we bookended it all by starting with getting the good rod and ending with getting the super rod. Again, this hack has been really generous with the items. I'm still waiting for it to pull the rug out from under me. Oh, and speaking of that, yeah, the TM shop in Vermilion City, they sell some really, really useful items. So I spent the cash that I built up on, uh, on moves like Flamethrower, Brick Break, Aerial Ace, Shadow Ball, Return, and Solar Beam. And also, as if that wasn't enough, I also have the Versus Seeker now, so money will never be a problem again. Also, I'm very overleveled at this point, or at least for the at least for the regular trainers. <clears throat> yeah, this route is definitely changed pretty drastically. Uh, cheating? Okay, well, if you think. If you think I'm cheating, that's fine, but you're still gonna lose. Bye bye. So, yeah, we're just gonna clear out all the trainers here. I can always come back later and battle them with the first seeker, make a bit more money at their expense. There's one thing I'm very impressed about is the work that went into customizing all the different maps in this hack. That's more than you usually see in a Fire Red hack. Unless it's a total conversion. Oh. Okay. So. Oh. Hmm. What's down here? I doubt that's Ziggler's Cave. Is it? Okay, first let's take care of the other trainers outside. And then we'll go down there and figure out what it is. Oh, I guess it must go over there. So, uh... Yeah, okay. And with that, that's all the trainers on the outside. Here, right. so now let's see what's in here. <clears throat> oh, this is Diglett's cave. Just a different part of it, I guess. Oh, well, already starting off with a shiny, huh? I think I actually have to cast these things now because arena trap, or just knock it out. Eh. And I know exactly what I call you. That's flow of shit. Moving on. Okay, so for those of you who don't that don't remember, back when Pokemon Go came out, some news channel, I think it was in California, interviewed a couple of people about Pokemon names. There was this there's two guys, there's a white kid and a black kid. And the white kid was getting pissed off because the black kid didn't know all the names of the Pokemon. New Pikachu, but when they got to Diglett, the uh, interviewer said, okay, so what's this one called? He said, that's flow of shit. Then the trio comes up. Oh, Meditite. And, uh, of course, naturally says, that three flow of shits. Uh, that was a wild time. For all of, like, a few weeks, it actually got people to leave their fucking houses. And talking about Pokemon again, for that matter, it was like it was 1997. It was 1997 all over again. Hmm. Oh yeah, so of course this takes us over here. Huh. Well, in vanilla he has a Magneton, not Drowsy. 
All right. Metal coat. Okay. And here it's only useful for boosting packs. Okay, so let's just take care of that poisoning real quick. Actually, let's reorganize that. Okay. And now let's see what's in here. Now, ordinarily, you can get an item. I do. Item finder. Yep, I wanted that. What? 19. I thought I had more than that. Oh. It's in the Kanto Pokedex. Okay, well that explains it. Oh, there's an item down there. I didn't notice. I'll have to be able to get that on the way back. And of course, you go this way, and there's this fat ass blocking the road. We'll deal with him later. It was an X speed. Eh. Now, <clears throat> as I found in the last run, well, X items can actually be useful. But, uh, well, they're still not. Well, an X speed, probably not, but X attack and X special attack, dire hits, yeah, those can be useful. Well, hello there, Shiny Magby! Yes, sir, I'm definitely using that. All right, well, get in the ball. Get in the fucking ball. Come on. Get in the ball. Get in the ball, you stubborn bitch. Finally. Now, what am I going to call you? All right, we'll go with Atar. Actually, I'm not 100% sure I will be using Magby. I might, I might not. I mean, the nice thing is I can always go back and forth between using multiple different Pokemon. So, uh, yeah. Just gonna go back and... Yeah, I guess I'll use it for now. Okay, so now I've gotten it up to a level more in line with the rest of my team. Not quite there, but closer. Brave Nature, so it has higher attack power, but... Well, I don't have any physical tax on it right now. I might put one on it later, like Brick Break or something. But the reason I got it is because it knows Psychic. Well, I can teach it Psychic, which I did using a TM I bought at the shop. So, uh, yeah. That'll be nice. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's teach it one more move. For the love of God, people, I'm recording! Stop messaging me! Now, I don't know if Return's going to do a whole lot of damage right now, but, well, that would be able to take advantage of its higher attack power. Now, that said, you may wonder, well, why not give it him power? Well, the short answer is that I did, briefly, when I was training it, but it turns out its hidden power is Poison type, which is basically the worst type that it could possibly be for a fire type, because... Basically, you're only super effective against grass moves, which are already covered by my primary type. Anyways, yeah, now we're on the SS Anne, or the SS Saint Anne in Japanese, but of course, we can't have any Christian references in modern media, so they had to remove that in the translation. Oh, we got another yellow flute. Okay. Sooth Bell. That'll be nice. Oh, fuck off. You know what? Just for that. Die. Nope. Not giving you that chance. All right, now let's just take care of that real quick. Is 
Next door. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna battle all the trainers in here because as far as I'm aware, well, in the vanilla game, once you leave, you after getting cut, you can't come back. I don't know if that's still the case later on. Especially since, uh, well, a, don't quote me on this, but I've heard that in this particular hack, I've made a big mistake. You know, it's a good thing I saved before I got on the boat. Oh, and here's a free TM Sunny Day. Note to self, I didn't need to buy that in the shop. But, hmm, that's the brakes. Anyway, since I was saying, what I'd heard is that this particular hack implements the urban legend about how you could find Mew under the truck, which, to be fair, that's actually very common in ROM hacks of either the Gen 1 games or the remakes, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, we're doing Toxic Stall. Sue me. Especially because they're, if they're going to abuse accuracy reductions... Yeah, I don't feel bad about that, not one bit. I think that's everything on this deck, yep. Going back up to the main deck, before we do anything else, I'm gonna go over here. So, this chick right here will heal you in the remakes. In the original, he just, in the original, she just, I think, is she the one that mistakes you for a crew member and asks for a cherry pie, or is she the one that just creepily watches you sleep or something? I forget. I think she's the one that, that mistakes you for a crew member. In fact, I think she's drunk, is the implication. We're not taking chances. Not this time. Eh, too bad. Moving on. So yeah, that was an interesting quality of life improvement they made in the remake, because it meant means you don't have to leave to heal. Also, fuck you, old man, I go where I want. Also, appropriately enough, uh, Magby will evolve around the same time as my stars do. All three of the stars evolve at level 36. Well, the fire stars, anyway. Actually, wait, isn't this guy a trainer? Nope. Um, so yeah. And Magby evolves at level 35. Oh, right. Flash fire. Thank you, Yellow Flute. And there's TM for Taunt. Situationally useful. It stops opponents from setting up, but it's more useful in, uh, in competitive play, to be honest. And this is your encounter with an Interpol agent. They're called the Global Police at Gen 1, but it's it's Interpol. The same guys that Looker works for. In fact, I a popular fan theory is that that is, in fact, Looker. Ooh, amulet coin. I get more money that way. And another spell tag, so I can boost my ghost. In fact, now that I think about it, I should be giving you that, because you know Shadow Ball now. Right powder that lowers it's not that much, it's like five percent. Okay, so yep. Yeah, uh Sabun du Salad. This is a... Uh, back in Gen 1, Pokemon were supposed to coexist along regular animals. Yeah, and also in the original Fire Red, those are berries. And they sound, well, you know, they're all French, but... Huh. 
Granted, well, again, this is... Early on, it would have been called France, but nowadays it'd be called Kalos. It's not the only real-world world country referenced in Generation 1. Because, of course, Lieutenant Surge is the Lightning American, for one. And also, there is a... Apparently, a branch of the Sylph Company in Russia. In fact, technically speaking, there is one game, well, actually several games, in which you visit land that is technically owned by Russia in real life, and that would be, um, in Generation 4, Down Pearl and Platinum, the island where the Battle Frontier is, or, you know, that area, that island, in real life, was ceded to, the, to Russia, well, then the Soviet Union, after World War II. They still control it to this day. So that means that, technically speaking, Generation 4 is the first time you visit another country besides Japan in a mainstream Pokemon game. The more you know. Oh! Well, that happened sooner than I thought. I thought it was 35. I guess it's 30. Well, this is awfully convenient. Wow, it looks almost exactly like a normal one, except... kinda desaturated. That's a little underwhelming, to be honest. There, and there's some... others like that, too, where... they're almost indistinguishable from... A vanilla color scheme. I think one of the most obvious that I can think of is Garchomp. It's just slightly darker. Anyways, uh, moving on. Let's go back down to the deck. So in here, you talk to this guy, and he just shows you a picture of Snorlax. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use... Didn't I buy another return? Yes, I did. We're going to use that on it right now. That way I can take advantage of its higher attack power. Whoops. So yeah, it was a good call to swap out Growlithe, because much as I like our canine, having Psychic-type moves... Well, having Psychic, that's really good for coverage. Dragon Scale, um... I don't know if that's of, of any use in this particular hack, because I think Cedra's evolution was changed to... Was it level 50? Its only use in vanilla is to evolve Cedra into Kingdra, but you have to trade while it's holding it. There's a lot of that in Gen 2. Okay, so next up is going to be the battle with Blue. And, uh, okay. We're gonna swap out for you. Actually, no. We're, we're gonna start with you. Yeah, I caught. Yeah, I've seen 40 kinds, and I've caught maybe half of that. But mine are much stronger than yours, so what now? Get in power fighting, bitch! You just got soloed by an Eevee. Shame on you. I'm actually kind of surprised Eevee hasn't tried to evolve yet, but whatever, that's besides the point. I'm guessing what this means is that I can come back later on to the boat, which would make sense, because 
There's that one guy with Pokemon in the 70s! For context, he was about as strong as... Well, Steven. The endgame trainer in my Emerald Monotype. And no, that is not a spoiler, because... Steven has the exact same team he does in... Vanilla, and I'm sorry, but the game is 20 years old. It's almost old enough to drink. So if you don't know that by now, then... You are... Well, I don't know what to tell you. Bon voyage! Interesting ROM hack idea. What if you could actually go on the cruise with the ship and just travel to different places? So yeah, if I have Surf, I could go over there and I would find the truck, which I think has Mew under it in this particular hack. Again, that's very common to do in ROM hacks of Gen 1 or Fire and Leaf Green. So, I think we're going to call this here. Next time, we're going to be taking on the gym. So, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. And I, well, hey, check out my Rumble page. And I will see you all next time.